Hey guys, so there was a patch for Black Ops 3, not Black Ops 2, I was about to say Black Ops 2. There was a patch for Black Ops 3, or an update, a couple, maybe earlier this week, and I was trying real hard to beat the map Zetsu Bao no Shima, which is right here, and I completed it, and I got this little hexagonal gateworm looking thing on the bottom, well I guess next to the name of the map, and it's green and it's filled in, well that's because I beat the easter egg for that map, or at least I think it is, for because I beat the map. So I, I know that I've beaten the map through eyes and drag, so when I went and looked at it, I expected to see a green filled in gateworm, but it's not there. So I'm going to have to go back again and beat that map. But while I saw that, I got very curious because there was also one for the giant. And I was like, but there is no big ol' easter egg for the giant. So I looked at it, I, w I played in the game of the giant, and the big easter egg for that map is to simply get the annihilator. So I got the annihilator, and as I picked up the annihilator, I got plus 1000 XP, and it said Apocalypse Divergent or something along those lines, I don't exactly remember. And then I started looking and I went to Shadows of Evil and I saw that weird circular blacked out looking thing and I was just like what is that? At first I thought it was the seed from the map that's about Oshima but that doesn't really make any sense well I looked at it again this morning and I thought to myself that's the summoning key and every time that you kill one of your characters from these maps you get the gate worm. And what does that mean exactly? What's gonna happen when all four souls from the old crew are in the summoning key, which is here, and I'm assuming you need to get the Shadow Man in the summoning key or finish Shadow Seagull's Easter egg in order for you know something to happen. You know, if we take a look back at Black Ops 2 you had the nav card system where if you connected all the nav cards and did the easter eggs and you did them all the same there was a fourth or there was an alternate ending in the map buried so I'm theorizing here, this is all theory is if we do the same thing in Black Ops 3 for the giant Dorizendrak, Zetsuba no Shima and another map the one with Nikolai in it will there be an alternate ending to one of the maps because and spoiler alert here so if you haven't seen the ending of Zetsuba no Shima close your ears or skip ahead 30 seconds or so that in the end the cutscene of Zetsuba no Shima you could the ending cutscene said a quote from Richtofen that we all thought that Nikolai was going to be next you know, for the next map, but Nick, uh, nope. Richtofen said that he's that that's wrong. That he has he has to. Uh, there are there's a chain of events that must be set in motion. That's what he said. So that kind of throws off the idea that we're going to be going to wherever what's assumed to be Stalingrad for Nikolai. So, what exactly is going to happen when you collect all of these? And will, when you get all of them, will the Shadow Man make a reoccurrence, reoccurrence, reappearance in one of the later maps? Or will something ultimate, will Richtofen's ultimate evil plan maybe come into play? I mean, every single time that we do this, that we kill an old character, you, the soul gets absorbed into the summoning key, which we're going to assume is Shadows of Evil, until proven otherwise. And what Richtofen doesn't know from the giant is that the Shadow Man is in there, because in the end cutscene of Shadows of Evil's Easter Egg, Richtofen comes in and he just takes the summoning key. But he doesn't know, or what we presume is that he doesn't know that the Shadow Man is in there, so he's just killing all these souls, and he might have one plan, but with the Shadow Man who's in the Summoning Key might have a different idea, 
And let's not forget who is in the summoning key as of now. We have old Richtofen, the old demented, crazy Richtofen, who blew up the freaking Earth. And he's in there with the Shadow Man, who could be... They could be both plotting to do something insane. Maybe. I mean, it's all theory, we don't know. And Dempsey's in there, too. And Dempsey's gonna be, like, trying to fight the fight the German, which is Richtofen. He's gonna be trying to fight Richtofen in the summoning key. But maybe with, with the Shadow Man in there, he's gonna lose, and the Shadow Man's gonna win. So what happens when we get the fourth soul from Nikolai and all four of our crew is in there with the Shadow Man? Could they break out? Who knows? But I saw this. This was really cool. Or it was really interesting to me because I, I had never seen it before. It was recently added. And so far, I don't think I've seen any other YouTubers do anything over this. So... There's these little tokens here for beating the maps, or completing their easter eggs, and what's going to happen in the future? What's going to happen with DLC 3, or DLC 4, or the presumed famed DLC 5 that's never going to happen? What is going to happen is the big question, and so far we don't have very many answers. But thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!